Jim from House of Flowers in Oshkosh, always coming up with great new, fun, different ideas uh, to decorate uh, for your next cookout party, whatever. Um, outside at the grill, joined by a guy who loves to cook. Do you like to grill too, Jim? I love to grill. I do too. Oh yeah, it's you know, great. You know, it, um, great flavor and then keeps all the mess outside and I'm all about that. And so. it's an experience. It's yeah. a family experience Yeah. to it, really be around the grill and everybody's it. standing around looking at your cooking, critiquing as you go. Anticipate it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> um, and Jeff, um, you may have heard his voice before. Where do people, uh, can, can they find you? They can find me at WTAQ 97.5 and 1360. I'm on the news staff, so newscast radio, top, and, yep. top and bottom of the hour, so you can hear me there. And if you didn't know this, um, I always love to get the radio guys on because you know you love their voices and you want to see what they look like. He is actually a trained chef, so uh, before the whole radio thing, right? Right, I had a restaurant and uh, worked there and went through culinary school, worked at a couple other places, and now I take my love of cooking home and to the blogosh blogosphere, which is what everybody does nowadays. Yeah, very, very cool. So we're gonna do a, a different spin on twi uh, twist on chicken. We eat a ton of chicken in our house, Jeff, and mm -hmm. I think that that's one of those things that you really can get like chickened out, if you know what I'm talking about. It's like, really, chicken again? Um, and, and chicken, I think, um, can get a little dry on the grill, and that's why, man, I'm all about marinating it. You oh, know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us about this dish. Okay, well, this is a dish I came up with, and I actually took it from a restaurant I ate in, and I said, hey, I bet you I can make it better at home. I do that all the time. Right, yeah. so this is tequila lime chicken, mm. and it, it's a very simple marinade. It's basic ingredients that you have in your cabinet, and, and you know, the, the tough one is tequila, but I'm sure everybody has tequila in their cabinet. Well, sure. if not, you can go get some. If uh, not, you can go get let's some. Let's start it going okay. here. And we oiled the grill. We're using um, some chicken breasts here, but you can use, again, a whole cut up fryer, boneless, skinless chicken breast, whatever you want to use. Right, you can use bone in, you could use bone out, you can uh, use wings, you can use tenders, you can do pretty much anything with this recipe. Yeah. And it's just simple and, and easy to clean up and uh, easy to obviously put together. Now we want to start with our chicken. Okay. And we want to make sure that it's nice and padded dry. Okay. So that we get any excess liquid and juice off Good of it. Good point. I always, whenever I'm using chicken breasts or any kind of chicken, I run it under water. Mm -hmm. It's just what I've always done. My mom used to do it and then yeah, it's real a uh, good idea to pat it dry so that oh, yeah. the, the marinade's not gonna get all watery. Exactly, yeah. and and the other thing you might want to do too is it doesn't hurt to poke a few holes. Oh, that's a good. Just tip. so the marinade gets really into the meat and things like that, so it really gets the flavor all the way throughout, and it's not just on top. If you're doing boneless, skinless breasts, do you ever pound them a little bit? You can pound them to make them a little bit thinner. Obviously, that'll cut down your cooking time and obviously cut down on, on the ability to overcook it. So Very true. Very that, true. That is a, an, an issue in and of itself. I don't so. want to overpound it usually when I'm doing it, but I just will give it a couple of big whacks with a, a meat mallet um, so it cooks a little more evenly. Oh, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Especially pulling it off and it's pink inside. Nothing worse than that. Nobody likes pink yeah. chicken. No. Nobody no, should ever eat no, pink chicken. No. no, and once you get it off the grill, you take it to the table, then you try and get it back on and it's like forget yeah, it yeah it's done you have to it's, run back to the microwave yeah it's, it's a whole it's deal just, yeah you so, want to spend time with your family and friends you want to sit there you want to get it right the first time yes exactly okay so into a ziploc bag so into a ziploc bag like me love okay. this okay. and what we do is we take one couple garlic cloves okay. and we'll demonstrate here you just want a rough chop because it's only going to go into the marinade you don't really have to worry about presentation or anything like that so run your knife through a couple cloves of garlic okay and then you add the garlic to the bag. And the great thing about having a bag like this is that it's easy cleanup and it all goes in one place. Yep. So it just makes things a heck of a lot easier. I'm with you on that. What you want to do is you want to then take your tequila. Okay. And we're throwing all the ingredients in here. So you do about a half a cup of tequila. Now is this one of those deals where if you don't have a bottle of tequila around, um, you don't have to go get the most expensive kind out there, right? You don't, no, right? And not at all. And they have little bottles too, so you know you don't. You can have to buy get the, the mini bottles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you also want a little bit of cilantro. Mm, I love cilantro. And fresh cilantro works good. If you want to use dried coriander, you can use that too. Question for you. Yes. How far ahead do you, when you're doing this at home, do you want to marinate this? You can marinate it three to four hours okay. in your fridge, or all the way up to overnight. So now we're talking. Either way, yeah. it works. Okay. Okay. A little bit of dried oregano works very good. Just want to pinch of that. I talk about that a lot, that people think oregano is Italian cooking, but really a lot of Mexican cooking has you know, oregano in it. It's very common in mm -hmm. Hispanic cooking. So we also had some cumin, which is also another very Hispanic kind of herb kind of and thing. spice. And then salt and pepper. Okay. So we'll add 
throw some kosher salt in there, crack some black pepper. And now comes the fun part with the lime. This is my favorite part. It smells really good. You use the lime for two things. Okay. One, you want to use the zest of okay. it, which is obviously the outside. So you can just run it around a little bit of a strainer, like so. And then you take just the green part just down to the white, because you don't want the pith. Okay. The pith is where it gets very bitter, and it doesn't have a very good flavor to it. All the essential oils are going to be right inside that skin. Okay. So you're going to run that oh, in there, and you then... smell this at home. It smells so good. You're going to use the juice of the lime. Okay. So you're actually going to get two uses out of this. So you get the zest, and then juice both limes in there. Just give it a good hard squeeze. You notice I rubbed it on the on the cutting board a little bit beforehand, kind of loosen up some of the fibers okay. inside so you get a little bit more juice. And then you just seal it, give it a couple good shakes, a couple good turns, and you put it right in the fridge. And like I said, three to four hours or up to overnight, you can get this done, get all your prep done ahead of time. And here's our chicken, it's just starting grilling. We're gonna keep an eye on it um, and uh, you know, flip it. Give it a nice little quarter turn to yep. give nice uh, cross hatch grill marks here. What are we making next time, Jeff? Next coming up, we have a dessert, which is great because I love to grill fruit. It's one of the Me great too, things yeah. I saw you do it with yeah. peaches in yeah. the last segment. So we're going to do an island pineapple. It's going to be done with a rum coconut milk mm. marinade with some cinnamon sugar on it. So. And the nice thing about it, it's gonna, it would be a great dessert to go with this. Kind of Absolutely. Goes together. It's going to marry very nicely together. Yeah. You're going to feel like you're in the tropics. I love it. Sounds good to me. It's feeling, been feeling like that this week, by the way. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to show you where you can get a Juicy Lucy. You ever heard of one of those? And you don't have to go to Minnesota to get it. And Jeff's grilled pineapple recipe, too. So stick around. We'll be back.